So, The Legend of Vox Machina just dropped its first three episodes on Amazon Prime, and I feel I can say that if you're going into this show with zero knowledge of the source material, you won't feel lost, and if you're a fan of Critical Role in the previous works, this is an excellent thank you note for being a fan. This show does a good job at introducing the story and to get you up to speed of what is at stake during the series. There are points where you will be captivated at the storytelling that appears here and will make you drawn in and have actual connections and feelings to how it all goes. The show does a good job at characters and who they are. They don't fall into the archetype of being only who their character is. They have real emotion and moments where they can show that they are more than that. Episode 1's ending really helps showcase that fact and really puts our band of characters into a reality of a purpose. Being heroes. But it doesn't mean that the whole show is serious, as there are moments of comic relief that, honestly, is a hero miss depending on who you are. The comic relief does work in the sense that it helps alleviate a serious beat, but sometimes it can derail that moment. The action animation is a major highlight as it really showcases the fighting ability of our characters, showcases the scope of the world, and makes for the reason why this is on Amazon. I feel with this, Invincible and the Boys, Amazon Prime is really showcasing the true realistic nature and brutality of what fights with the scope and scale and shows that things will get real messy real quick. I appreciated these first three episodes and was able to throw us into the world with enough information to get us by, but still enough left out so that we can still be shocked by whatever twists and turns that will definitely happen here. I will definitely be checking out more episodes as they drop. I hope the show is able to maintain that same level of sincerity with the characters and their arcs, as well as maintain the level of action and energy that makes the first three episodes work. Only time will tell that's the case, but for now, The Legend of Vox Machina is definitely the best new show to come out this year, and I can't wait to see what's next during the season.